Yo, what's good, real ones? It's Levon. You already know who it is. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm here to drop another gem on y'all today. So, you guys, I got to make this one quick because I need to get outside and cut the grass before I head into work. Um, can't put that off any longer. I think this video will be coming out Thursday. I'm shooting it on Tuesday, and I'm I'm getting into a bit of a routine now, if I can say that, since it's only day two, honestly but my vlog is uploading right now and then i'm recording this simultaneously so hopefully you know ideally i'm gonna record the video the day before go to work then upload edit upload the following morning go to sleep that should be done by the time i wake up then i could just make a title and all that jazz and then record my next video sometime during that day because I can't record, edit, and upload a video on the same day and then still have time to hit the gym and like eat and uh, I don't got time for all that. So, do y'all care about all this? I don't even know. I'm just I'm just rambling, talking. Uh, I need to get into this topic. So today I want to talk to you guys about this quote that my mom instilled in me when I was younger that I've carried with me throughout my life, and it's it's impacted me and just how I how I view things and I guess how I how I carry myself in a way and I haven't heard this quote from anyone else but her maybe she made it up maybe she got it from someone else I don't know she's like one of those wise old mm, she's like one of those wise <laughs> she has a lot of wisdom <laughs> mom if you're watching this whoops my bad it slipped uh she's 21 you guys if if you didn't know i, I think she might have turned 22 uh earlier this year <laughs> ah um anyways that quote is don't leave a place how you found it never leave a place how you found it leave it better and you know i kind of just live by that it's it's just been engraved in my brain and i just can't i can't help it now at this point but I remember the first time that she said that to me and my siblings. Maybe they didn't even carry it with them as I did, but I always remembered it. We were we were at our church conference campgrounds, and uh, we had a cabin. And I'm sure they have someone who goes in and does some kind of maintenance on the cabins. But, you know, they, they weren't always in the cleanest conditions, but... Uh, we would go and, you know, we would have our little stay there. And by the end of our stay, every time before we left, she would have brought uh, like cleaning supplies and whatnot for us to, to clean the cabin before we left as if they didn't have people to do that already. Right. And that used to irritate me. I'm like, dude, like y'all got us busting suds with this Clorox, this Windex, you got us freaking sweeping this spot out. Like they don't got custodians or janitors to come do this mess. Like they got room service, you know what I'm saying? Uh, housekeeping. Oh man, that blew me when I was younger and I couldn't stand it. Um, but that was the first time I remember her, her saying that quote, or at least that's why I correlate that quote with was that, that instance. Um, just always having to clean up the clean up the spot that was kind of dingy when we first got there i'm like bro like we're doing this for the next people that doesn't even that doesn't even make sense to me but i mean that's such a valuable thing though if if everybody lived by that like don't leave a place how you found it leave it better the world would just be a better place by default you know and and I, I understand that it could be it could be challenging because even even at work sometimes you know I'll come in and, and day shift then left they done left a mess or they didn't leave the adequate resources for us to just come in and get straight to work we got to do prep that should they should have done before they left that blows me but you know sometimes at the I'm inclined to sometimes it doesn't happen but naturally I'm just inclined to all right you know, let me make sure the people that are coming up after me are set, regardless of, you know, how they how they might have done things. Because I know for myself, I would want to come into 
to that kind of environment. But I think that quote can tie into more than just, um, I guess, a cleanliness or, you know, the physical realm, if you will. It, if you have that mindset with your relationship as well, um, and I can't say that I am... Uh, yeah, I don't think I can say that I've done this 100% of the time, just leaving all my relationships better than how they started. Because, I mean, with, I guess when it comes to people, it's a little more, it's a little more complicated. Because um, sometimes, you know, maybe someone just doesn't even want to be involved with you. And if you're trying to make the situation better than how it started, then you can probably slip into people pleasing or things of that nature, which is somewhere you don't want to be as well. But I think it's a good idea to carry that mentality throughout your relationships and, and ju just don't be a burden on people, you know? Try to uplift their life in, in some way. Like, don't leave them how you found them. If you found someone that was, I'm talking dumb fast, faster than usual, I know, but I, I gotta hurry up. So if you found somebody that was say depressed or in some kind of in some kind of stank and some kind of funk you know what i'm saying uh you know try to try to uplift their spirits or just don't well i can't say that that's always a solution either because maybe they just they're just having a moment but just don't be a burden or a hindrance on people. I don't think it's hard to do that. At the very least, you know. And I guess one more one more aspect where that, that quote has played out is just, you know, just looking around at life. Um, and I think I was saying just briefly in my vlog too was just how it fascinates me how far the human how how far we've evolved um and really that's and i'll probably do a video on this specifically strictly in the future but just how you know for us to be where we are today people who were before us had to have came and you know just saw something in the world and made it a little better and we as people we kind of just compound on the stuff that comes before us to get us to the place that we are today to where I can shoot a freaking video in 4K resolution on my smartphone. Whereas 10 years ago, that wouldn't have been possible. But as people bring more value and and build upon and, and you know, leave the things that were once there better, it allows us to evolve and grow and come up with new ideas, new inventions, you know? You get what I'm saying? You feels me? Um, but yeah, I think I want to do a solo video on that topic just because that always interest has interested. That, that interests, that's captivated my interest multiple times. Um, yeah, that's my video. Uh, I'll just leave it at that because I, I gotta get going. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, y'all see, y'all see me. I'm on the grind. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay true to my word at least. Y'all just peep the effort. And uh, yeah, I'm done here. Deuces. <laughs>